Well, conditions on day two of the 103rd New Zealand Open presented by Sky Sport were perfect for scoring, and so it would prove. By day's end, more than 30 players are within five shots of the lead and within just three of second place. Here, Carlos Pigeon from Spain birdied the 15th from the bunker to get to eight under and within just four of the lead. Australian Brett Coletta birdied the 16th from behind the green to also get to eight under. New Zealand golfer Kieran Muir birdied the 18th of Remarkable's course and he too is at eight under and within just four of the lead. Australian and DP World Tour player David Michaluzzi, his third shot at the 15th, would set up a birdie. Oh, lovely, mate. Cade McBride from Australia birdied the sixth, to, and he would eventually finish at nine under. <laughs> Japan's Yuta Sugiura birdied the ninth, and he too is at nine under and just three off the lead. Former winner Matt Griffin birdied the seventh. Yeah. But the surprise of the day was the marvellous performance by veteran Marcus Fraser. His second to the seventh, or the sixteenth of the Remarkables course, to set up another birdie, and he would finish at ten under and just two from the lead. Daniel Hillier, the New Zealander, the leading world-ranked player in the field, yeah. got on a bit of a roll towards the end of his round. This is a birdie at the 17th, one of four to finish. But it would be Scott Hand, the Australian, the veteran and multiple winner on the Asian Tour who birdied the eighth, 18th hole. And at 12 under, he leads by two from a group of five golfers.